how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's gonna be an Undead Saturday random reviews. I do pick films from the collection from a random genre and review them for you guys and give you guys my thoughts and opinions. <clears throat> so everyone uh, sit back, relax, let's get this started. So the film I'm gonna choose for this Saturday is going to be Fortress of America. This is a 1989 trauma film. It's directed by Eric Luzil. He also directed Class of Newcom High from Class of Newcom High 2. Uh, it's also a trauma film. It stars uh, Gene LeBrock. He came out in Metamorphosis and Beyond Darkness. And he plays the character of John Whitecloud, our, our leader in this film. Let's lead character. Let's get into the film. So this is very tra trauma like. It's about this guy, John Whitecloud. He's kind of like a, I don't know if he's half Native American or fool. Never really explained explains but he is native american he uh got arrested and he's uh pretty much been in prison he gets out he uh he wants revenge on the town sheriff who pretty much killed his brother he wants revenge and i don't know if framed him in a while well, he was locked down but it's a revenge story so you got these two going at it they're threatening each other he's buying ammunition john and plotting his revenge he knows there's going to be a showdown between them two but at the same time we go to another side story where you got this military group called Fortress of America, and they're running loose in the National Forest, just killing people at random. <laughs> just for no reason, it makes no sense. They just say like, leave no prisoners and they kill you. They kill kids, they kill half-naked women, they kill old men, it's just out of randomly that I still don't understand. <laughs> but uh, I thought they would have been like a skinhead group because there's like the KKK in the cover, but nah, they're just like a National Guard, with, like random people with an evil twisted leader who Pretty much gets a thrill out of murdering but um you got yeah john white cloud he's the rebel prisoner who's not only going to take on uh the sheriff the evil sheriff but he also has to uh battle this group fortress of america and rescue his love love interest in the film so that's our story it's pretty much that it leads up to the sh end showdown it's got some action you got some gore that's pretty impressive i did like some of it but the story's all over the place and then you got like that trauma voice dubbing which you see in a lot of trauma films which does it for me i like that but in this film it could get annoying this is a film i would pretty much picture in usa up all night that category back in the day and it does have the trauma feel it's considered the worst trauma film of all time which i could see that it's pretty bad and a lot of it doesn't really make any sense it's just all around <laughs> and there is a uh, some tna in here you got a porn star that stars in this She's pretty much probably the main attraction of this film. And then you got uh, some decent battles. I mean, it's not bad. Um, what else could I get into this? There's an excellent soundtrack. I love the music in this film. And there's a lot of like characters. They're pretty like jacked up guys, like built guys. I think there's a lot of bodybuilders used in this film. And there's some battle scenes with them. Nothing too impressive. But yeah, overall, this film was kind of a disappointment to me, guys. It's... I could see why it's considered one of the worst trauma films. It just has some random action, makes no sense, and is all over the place. But I did enjoy the music, and some of the some of the kills were pretty fantastic. But other than that, this film is the high, highest I could give this film is going to be a two point five out of five. I can't go higher than that. This is a pretty bad film. Um, I couldn't recommend it. The only thing I can say is uh, get it on the cheap or if you really want this edition because like I'm a collector of VSA I'll keep it in the in the collection for that purpose but yeah one of the weaker trauma films but that's my thought and opinion guys please hit a like comment subscribe I'd love to hear your thoughts I hope everyone's having a great weekend out there stay safe be kind to each other this is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video peace you're just another victim you're just another victim kid you're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid.